Get it, Begonia. Get it. Finally, that thing is dead and buried. Right, here we are. Comfortable. Hi everybody. Happy Friday fun time. No. We'll we'll start that again. Ciao Friday Funsters. I hope you're all very well. Betty here with my glamorous assistant and daughter Bogonia Coconut. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes of pure chaos in this house just now after a pretty quiet and drama-free week which has come as a... Oh, Oh, a long-awaited hiatus from <laughs> trauma. Uh, but we're all fine. I hope you're fine. Well, you're here, which is fine by me. Thank you very much. So, yeah, if you've been here before, you'll know that I um, a release unto you upon the world a Feel Good Friday vlog every week full of cats, plants, snacks and knickknacks um and this week i've got a right eclectic old collection <laughs> some of it is old some of it is brand new i've got an amazing pajama rama score ah uh, talk about timing but we'll get to that later uh and the snacks Bit of a breakthrough on the uh oh lentil puffs. If you've uh, seen me ramble on about the uh oh uh oh lentil puffs, they're not chips. They're like um, uh, witchetty grubs. They're like little puffed lentil snacks, and they're absolutely delicious. And they're only available in Chez Bourgeois, which is what I call home bargains, which is one of those weird sort of bits of everything shop. I mean, you could literally just shop in there. Uh, but they got us all addicted to the chilli ones and then they withdrew them and they do that all the time. I don't know what they're playing at, who the buyer is, or if it's just because it's the, like, they just get end of lines. But uh, anyway, they've introduced a new flavour, which I was excited about because I love prawn cocktail flavour. I'm also a vegetarian. So whenever I can find prawn cocktail, vegetarian, lentil puffs, I am a happy woman. Obviously, they were good. They were gone in five seconds. Gone in a flash. In a poof. Munched. They were delicious. And, uh, yeah. Well, you've seen the cat. It's just legged it. <laughs> so, what we got left? Plants? No. All the leaves are gone and the sky is brown. Right, it's been a strange week for purchasing. <laughs> I've had lots of practical issues to deal with. Uh, oi, oi. And one especially was for you. I bought her a brand new Walter Hotel bottle, a hot water bottle, and uh, I thought I could put it in her bed in the window. So she's super extra cosy. And uh, I also thought that she might kill it because it's got guinea pigs on the front. <laughs> and she's a killer. She'll kill anything that's uh, got a heartbeat. Or try to, anyway. Sorry about all the chaos down there. I'm, honestly, no. <laughs> I've reached the point of pile up. And uh, I'm going to do your vlog today. And then next week, everything's going to be all tidy. And all the Christmas trees will be up. And uh, everything will be tranquil and peaceful. And my life will be like one of those, you know... In Instagram influencers. <laughs> oh, imagine. Oh, that's never going to happen, is it? Um, yeah, so, first thing I bought this week, the business, was in one of the worst supermarkets on earth. I really resent going into this shop. And I also really resent having to buy practical things. And uh, oh, I've had to go in bloody twice this week. 
I got this just to make myself feel better about being in there, and it was Asda. Oh, God. If you're in America, it's I think it's one of the Walmart shops. I'd rather dig something out of a hole in the ground than go in Asda, but anyway, I just had to. And uh, I rewarded myself with this for Begonia. There she goes. Are you going in your cat bed? You going in? You gonna come and join us? What do you think? Are you coming over? Come on! Come on! Jump! Jump! Or go round. Go round. <laughs> she has her mother's uh, notions on exercise. <laughs> come on, love! Go, girl! So, anyway. I sort of might have had to test it out for a, for a couple of nights. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it hasn't left my side since I bought it. Haven't had a hot water bottle for about, oh, I don't know, eight, 85 years. <laughs> but um, I will, I'll have one every, every winter from now on. Can't believe what a treat they are. Um, yeah, I put it behind my back when I was at working the other day. And, oh, it was just heavenly, heavenly. So, what else to get? Oh, yeah, I got this as well. Wait a minute. Inspired by this fabulous woman who I watch on Instagram. She's called Duchess of Thrift. She's amazing. She goes out to the car boots and the charity shops and uh, everywhere I go, really. But she just finds the most incredible clothes and then she comes and she does, I think it's every morning, she'll post uh, her outfit of the day honestly brilliant amazing style and it, you know things she's got from vinted or the car boot for a pound or 50p uh, i don't know her uh, i'm not affiliated with her i just think she's fantastic i love watching her so if you like the sort of things that i sort of find and show you check a duchess of thrift out uh you'll enjoy it it's such good fun and uh, yeah she was talking about how she's got her whole little cozy setup with an electric blanket and um a sort of heated throw and all those kind of things so i thought right okay i remember having an electric blanket on the boat when i lived on the boat and it was a lifesaver so <laughs> that will be my face from tonight uh i've put it on the bed just to make sure it's the right size uh it's not plugged in yet but Hopefully, I'll be finished editing and working by hopefully about seven o'clock tonight and then I'll be in it. <laughs> but not with the hot water bowl because that's an accident waiting to happen. Don't even start me off about that, Iron. I'll tell you about that later. Uh, so, the good stuff. I mean, I just couldn't leave him. I don't know if he's a Christmas decoration or a garden ornament or whatever, but it's sort of that resin plastic. He was one pound, couldn't leave him for a pound. And it is signed by a company. I think they make, you know, what does that say? Hot Ant. Hot Ant or Hot Ant? I don't know how you pronounce it, but they make these. <laughs> so I've got him. And uh, let's see, he's so heavy. Oh, I think we'll be okay for two minutes before I can even out the uh, the distribution of the weight. I'm not sure if he'll stay on the tree because he's so heavy, but I'll find a place for him. Fantastic. And so from the sublime to the even more sublime, unbelievable. This never happens. Well, it's never happened to me in a long time. A score of vintage glass Christmas baubles and they were one pound in another bag oh my god two bags and this one was 50 pence can't believe it I mean it just never happens well it did happen I know but look it's a dimpled one so what I'm going to do is um debag them and put them in a nice hard tin because I don't know if I trust myself yet <laughs> I've broken more stuff. I've I've ruined something else. It was literally in the house five minutes. <laughs> oh 
God. I blame the hormones. I think it's the menopause. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go through those just in a minute. I'll show you. Oh, my God. I'll show you each one. I don't know if they'll survive. I also got in the same charity shop on the 1990s Christmas theme. Joyous, absolutely joyous. Set of four, two pounds. Look. Hello. So when I have my fantasy dinner party with me and a lot of dead people, George Michael, Amy Winehouse, Tina Turner, who was the other one? I can't remember. Oh, there'll be a crowd of us. Uh, oh no, that's perfect, because there's only four. Okay, yeah, George, Amy, Tina, and me. Uh, I'll put the cat mats down for our dinner. <laughs> Only partially being ironic. And uh, in the same shop, at the same time, found these. Oh my God, unbelievable. Mexican hand-painted little lizard. Uh, I'm not an expert, but are these called Talavera? Is this the style? They were 50 pence each and they're wall hanging. I had a little look in the shop. They got the hole in the back. Um, so they went straight in my basket. Show you this one. Looks a bit hungry. I know something else that's always got its gob open. She hasn't actually. That's me. <laughs> It's my gob that's always open. Well, it's normally open and full of snacks. And this one, same 50p. Yep. In a beautiful green. Yum. So amazing. This one hasn't got Mexico written on it, but it's obviously the same. So is that, are they a Talavera? Do they talk to each other? Are they chatting? Are they laughing? Are they rowing? <laughs> this one's giving me the side eye. This one's got the rage on. So thrilled with those. Can't leave a lizard behind. I also got in that shop. I'll give you a little clue. Do you recognise this style and design? Hello. Hello. Two vintage Kath Kitson Christmas bags, present sacks. There we go. There's a signature and there's the little retro deer. And that's what it looks like on the back. They're both identical. That's on the front. That's on the back. Unsigned. They're in immaculate condition, but I actually think they're quite early Kath Kitson and she's gone into liquidation. Well, the company's gone into liquidation now. So, um, I mean, they will become a more sought after, but I kind of love them. I think I'll keep them. I actually got excited when I saw them, as you would, uh, because I thought, oh, I'm going to put all these baubles in this sack and I'm going to walk out the shop like Santa. <laughs> so that was fun. And I also got... Two vintage paper chase... Cadbury's chocolate purple coloured garlands. So that's the original um, shop price, but they were 50 pence each. But these, I think, are 90s or Y2K. Yeah, so there's two of them, both in the packet, both unused. I don't know what to do with them, but I love them. I love the colour. And, uh, yeah... Mm -hmm. I don't know. They'll go somewhere fabulous. More Christmas baubles. I got this yesterday. I can't tell you how excited I get when I buy a little vintage or retro shoe in a charity shop because I get to do my favourite charity shop joke. I pick it up and I go to the manageress or the manager. It's always the manageress. And uh, I say, excuse me, do you have these in a five, please? <laughs> Oh, it never fails to thrill me. 
get mixed reaction. <laughs> but uh, I don't do it for them, I do it for me. <laughs> but isn't that cool? That was originally £1.50, but then by the time it went through the chaotic till, it was £2. <laughs> which was absolutely fine by me. Uh, I don't know if it's sort of brand new or if it's vintage, but it's a, is it an 18th century replica of a little court shoe? I wonder if it'll fit Begonia. I just need three more. <laughs> I saw these in the charity shop as well, and I thought, oh, if only there was another pair. <laughs> I know somebody who would suit them, and I think they'd fit perfectly. <laughs> no, there. Okay, and what else? Oh, yes. I've just got one of these. I probably shouldn't have bought this, because I've, uh, I've retired my plushy stuffed animal wildlife-themed tree. I've put all those plushies in a box. They're actually on eBay, but I don't mind if I keep them. Don't mind if they don't don't sell. Uh, but I couldn't leave her. It's got to be a girl. She's got antlers. One of those um, beanie baby little reindeers. <laughs> and who could resist? When I got to the till, the woman who was um, in charge, she was on the till and she said, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but don't you think it's got come to bed eyes? <laughs> And I think, actually, it does have very alluring eyes, which is a bit disturbing. But it was definitely the allure of the eyes what got me. <laughs> I must have put it back twice and then I kept looking at it and it kept looking back at me with its alluring come-to-bed eyes. <laughs> they are, actually. Merry Christmas. <laughs> So I'm going to give that a wash and put that on the tree or somewhere. Only fans. <laughs> yeah. What else did I get? Okay. Christmas socks. I hate wearing socks, but it makes it a little bit less uncomfortable if they're Christmas themed. Um, flea market. I got these vintage set, this vintage set of um, Tabitha, is it Tabitha Twitchit from Beatrix Potter? Set of six vintage buttons. I think they were 50p. I think they're probably worth about £20. But they're the buttons, they're not the fabric. So they're, you know, they're plastic. It was hard to find anything online. I couldn't find any identical to this. So they might be. Hard to find. So yeah, cute. They were 50p. More vintage haberdashery. Good old newy. Hooks and eyes. That's enough said. Um, oh yeah, okay. From the man who hates every hates every <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't know if he'd eat everybody, but he hates everybody. I got some vintage huge big darning needles which I'm happy about, and they're in amazing condition. I've got boxes and boxes of needles. All of them are either too small or I can't get them the thread through them. I don't know why. I've just kind of collected needles that are useless. So these look quality and a big size. Yeah, I've got some more as well. So that's them. And i got a bag of vintage thread again with some really great colours. But also because inside, huge darning needles. There's some whoppers in there. Let me turn them. You see the eye? That is, a, that is one there. That's a whole one. A massive darning needle, which, I mean, I'm not going to sit and darn things because I don't think I'll be able to see. But... I'd already bought these from the man who hates everyone. And they're vintage darning mushrooms. Shout out to my mate Spike, who's 
currently on her, I think it's day five of creamy mushrooms on toast for her lunch. Every day, same thing every day. <laughs> I've asked her where she's getting all these mushrooms from and she can't remember. <laughs> Which sounds very suspicious to me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a wooden one which is really well used. And this one is actually Bakelite. And it's called Darnalite on the bottom. Don't know if you can see. It's over across there. Darnalite. Oh my great. It's got a sort of metal thing inside, which might be some sort of uh, tool that you use with it. But my goodness. You can really feel the design quality in this. It's just, it's just perfect. It's been designed by someone who knows its use. Whereas lots of things today are just designed to be cheap, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a Bakelite vintage darning mushroom. Amazing. What else did I get? Um, bought this from a shop. I didn't find any in the flea market, although I did look because I just like the idea of getting these from the flea market, but they're like hen's teeth, like gold dust. So I just bought them from like a little um, sort of crafty shop. Crochet hooks. A set. And then the big ones. So no doubt they'll just stay in the box, in the drawer, but I'm glad I've got them. <laughs> And I also bought new from a charity shop who sells new stuff. Two big chunky balls of wool. And uh, I probably shouldn't have got the turquoise because I've got that huge bag of pure new vintage wool turquoise. But um, I just did. And a fabulous sunny yellow. So I think I'll just practice with these and then see what inspiration comes my way from what comes out of my practice pieces. I didn't manage to get back to week two of the crochet class, which I was a bit disappointed about, but I'm going to try and make it next week. But um, if I can't make it back, it's on seven till nine, and that's quite a long chunk of time that I am usually working during. Seven till nine at night is normally when I'm doing a lot of editing work. So I don't know, but we'll see. Some nice people and it was a really nice atmosphere in there. Uh, put you there. And last thing I got from the flea market was <laughs> because I couldn't walk past it. I couldn't leave it and I knew no matter what that uh, it was going to start a fantastic conversation <laughs> which it did I learned all about the woman's uh, cats from from her being a child to now <laughs> she looked about 40 <laughs> and I lapped up every single story and uh, then another man joined in just told his story about his cats how um Oh, the, the other woman, she said they brought in a stray, a huge, big black one that was about, you know, three foot long, you know, one of those really lovely long cats. And uh, he don't know how he was a stray, but he'd obviously been kicked out of somewhere because he was completely socialised. And the minute they put him down in the house, I mean, they just grabbed him, rescued him, uh, didn't have basket or anything like that. It was a proper, you know, rescue mission. I don't know, God, I can't remember where she said they found him. And they brought him in the house. He ran up the stairs and peed in the bath <laughs> over the plug hole. <laughs> oh, what an absolute legend. What a gentleman. She said he's a fantastic cat. Still going strong. Uh, so, yeah, so I bought this. And uh, it's Bustet, obviously, a little plushy Egyptian Bustet character. And uh, they sell these in the British Museum shop. And I do like to collect little museum pieces, uh, sort of replicas and what have you. I've got bits of jewellery, little bits of ornaments and little statues. And now I've got this. <laughs> I know I keep 
tell myself I'm too old for this sort of thing, but I just can't help it. When I see it there on the stall, it's like... Bring it home. <laughs> Get it. Bag it. Get it in the car. Bring it home. Love it and cherish it. <laughs> so I think that's all my um, sort of old charity shop stuff. But yeah, let me tell you something. I was a bit disappointed that when I was digging through the um, the rag pile that I came up empty handed. I hate that feeling. Was was disappointed. Had a good look through. Went through twice really. Absolutely nothing. Normally, you know, when I, I put my hand just in without looking and feel around, I can feel something really silky or something furry. <laughs> and then pull it out and it's an absolute score. Absolutely nothing this week. Yeah, it's a bit flea mark, it's a little bit thin of stock. I don't think the traders are managing to find very much stuff. I think most people are um either not dying <laughs> They're hanging on for grim death. <laughs> or their families are selling stuff um, to sort of um, auctioneers and that type of thing. Or they're putting it all online, selling it themselves because they need the money. Uh, however, on the way home from the flea market, I stopped off at one of my favourite charity shops. As the manageress was wheeling out. Oh literally as I walked in she was wheeling it out a huge vat of new with tags new without tags and ex sample stock from the high street shops and the supermarkets of pyjamas I swear to god it was just joyous me and about two other ladies we just Oh, just dug through, just dug, 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 dug. It was a huge, big vat, a massive, you know, one of those big sort of um, material bins, like a playpen, like a big playpen for a golden retriever. <laughs> big dog crate. <laughs> and uh, I bought 16. I bought 16 items. It was a pound an item. There was no guarantee that there was going to be a pair, but uh, I went for my life and I found about three or four pairs, sets, and uh, some a mix and match velory, soft, stretchy, leisure suits that I would say, or sort of, um, the last time I wore a leisure suit in velour were, was in the 1970s. So I'm um, bringing that back with my Walter Hottle bottle. Hot water bottle. So here we go. I'll show you what I got. Unbelievable score. First set. Uh, this is a matching pair. Both the same size. It's a bit too big for me. Uh, but I'm hoping that it's going to be big in a lovely, comfy, slouchy way. But a little bit, could be a little bit too big in an uncomfortable way. So what I might do is see if I can take in the uh, the bottoms, take in the legs a bit. Uh, but really I need to take in the waist because it will just, it will twist and drag I think on my um, brushed cotton sheet <laughs> when you get brushed cotton against brushed cotton you're asking for friction <laughs> but this is by a company called Chelsea Piers and I hadn't heard of them am I shaking I hadn't heard of them so I googled them and their pyjamas are between £55 and £85. So that was a score and that's new with tags. I'll show the tags. Chelsea Peas. No. Oh, Chelsea Peas, New York. This one, it's got pink palm leaves and leopards on it and I think it was probably from somewhere like Next or maybe Tesco but it was a sample it's got the sample tag on it but no inside labels again the set was two pounds oh I'm so happy about it this one's quite silky so I don't know how much um trouble it's going to give me on my brush cotton sheet and electric blanket 
could get a little bit sparky. <laughs> this one hasn't got three legs, although some of them did have the bums cut out or the back of the dressing gown cut out. <laughs> There's actually two pair, but I just thought these was these were I can't speak. I just thought these were so great, the fabulous sort of vintage retro flower power print that I got them in brushed cotton for the winter and like a light silky cotton for the summer. <laughs> Always prepared. Right, I don't think it's probably selling these pants in this light and in this position. <laughs> but honestly, this is what I'm talking about, that 1970s velour that I completely forgot about. I wouldn't have thought ever that I'd be thrilling over these sort of trouser pants, pyjama pants. It's not my style at all until now, until I touch them. And uh, I realised I've probably been missing out on so much comfort over the last few years. I mean, honestly, it's like the undercroft of Begonia's primordial pouch. It's the softest. And I think it was probably rejected because of that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me about the pleasures of velour. And uh, so I've got three pairs like this. They've got lovely piping on there as well. I can't believe I'm so excited about a pair of leisure pants. Uh, that'll be the hormones, won't it? Anyways, so yeah, I've got that colour which is like a sort of dark mint and this was probably from next probably a sample for next or tesco maybe or somewhere there we go but they're adorable wouldn't have looked twice at them in the shop now i'm obsessed and uh, they match perfectly with this colour they also match with this sort of mint, light mint, chalk ice mint colour, velour pants. And you just enjoy last week's detritus. And grey, like a silver grey velour. And these are actually velour inside as well. <laughs> So there'll be bicycle legs every night for the next year. Oh, I'm so excited about getting into bed. I can't believe it. Um, okay, there's a bit there's a bit more, and there's the obviously there's the, the best bit, the finale. Brace yourselves. Penultimate pair uh is by Oisho, um, which I am not familiar with. Oisho? And they were new with tags, and you know they're good when they've got a bit of a ribbon cord with a nice sort of coppery end. <laughs> and uh, they are incredibly luxurious. They've got nice pockets, and they've got this velouri bit. Oops, hang on. Don't drop down. Don't drop your pants. There we go. And I think it's probably from the same company, but this one's had its tags taken out. Uh, it's this beautiful, super soft Leaves your top as well. Oh my god, I'm making a mess of this. So that's got velour sleeves, a nice plain front. Sorry, not quite penultimate. I got these as well. They're a sort of um, diamond print blue velour, and that's a top and a bottom. I can't be bothered to put them on the mannequin because they're just plain blue. <laughs> there you go. Here look, sample tags. So they're all examples. Oh, there's a clue. <laughs> right then, I've saved the best till last, obviously. And uh, there's a little bit of a story. I almost lost my mind when I pulled the leg out. I thought, it can't be true. And then I did lose my mind, what was left of it, when I found the top. Yes, love, I did. I know you love it too. Because it gave me the excuse to do my Freddie Mercury impression around the charity shop. <laughs>
Oh my god, look at them. Navy blue and dusky pink Harlequin pyjama set. It's the pyjamas of my dreams. And I thought, oh, I can't wait to wash these and give them a light iron. And uh, whatever happens, don't burn my pyjamas, bastard iron. My bastard Brexit iron. Ah, oh, you know what's coming. That bloody iron is Brexit. Uh, the only reason I have that iron is because I had to leave Hong Kong to move to Madrid when I thought they were going to vote for Brexit. And then when I was in Madrid, I had to buy that bloody iron to keep someone happy. And then they bloody voted for Brexit, so I had to come home with that bloody iron. I swear to God, that iron has been like a death threat. It just represents bloody bastard Brexit. <laughs> I call it the bastard. <laughs> it's always either stone cold or too hot or just shit, a bit shit. Oh, it's just, just, just there to ruin your life like Brexit. What a bastard. And uh, yesterday I washed all these pyjamas. Oh, I was so excited. It was such a lovely feeling. Hung them all up. Just as they were at the right um, dampness, ironed them all. And the bloody iron bloody bastard it went from stone cold to overheating started seizing up and crackling and then it just burnt burnt my pajamas not just burnt my pajamas I burnt them exactly where you don't want an iron burn on your pajamas I honestly thought it was going to blow up I sort of ran to the plug, switched the plug off, pulled it out, and it was just sat there seething on the ironing board, sort of... <laughs> I thought it was going to blow, um, which is why it's outside. And it's been decommissioned. <laughs> I don't know whether I should show you, because it, it did actually break my heart, but at the same time, it's not war, you know what I mean? It's just a bit snarled up pyjama. But um, what I thought I could do was move the pocket. What do you think, Begonia? Do you think that's a good idea? Is to move the pocket? Hey, you. So I'll show you. I'll show you. Pocket. Beautifully stitched. There. I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. But look at it. It was perfect. And now it's bloody Brexited. So if I don't hide it, I would, I'm always going to know it's there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could embroider a big EU flag on it. <laughs> oh, Freddie Mercury's face. That's what I could do. Oh, that's what I'll do. Oh, oh my God, I could get a queen patch. And stitch the queen patch on it. No, I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'll, not do, I'll not do anything. I'll just wear it and live with it. Just, like, live with Brexit. So there we go, my friends. Fabulous Freddy Jams. And uh, that's everything. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted with my little haul. But little but satisfying. And i got to tidy this place up. It's all just... All the stuff from all my videos, from all the Friday vlogs in this room. I don't come in here apart from to film. So it's total carnage. And I'm going to um, feed Begonia again. I might have some noopasoodles, which is what everyone un understands as super noodles. Uh, but I said it once in 1998, and they've been noopasoodles ever since. <laughs> and I'll see you all next week. Have a fantastic time. Definitely going to put the tree up tonight. Well, another one. And uh, hopefully everything will be decorated for you next Friday. So I hope you find some exciting treasures if you're going out and about looking for knickknacks. Uh, if not, just have a lovely, peaceful, tranquil, stress-free week. Thank you very much. Oh, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.